around 485, the belt loop that surrounds me. And we had this conviction that for centuries, really, the church has said to people, you know what, we expect you to come to us. What we're saying, Neil, is, you know what, it's time for us to follow the uh, lifestyle of Jesus and go to where people are at. Jesus went to parties, he went to weddings, he got involved in the lives of people as they lived them, and we want to follow in Jesus' footsteps and go into the places where they work and where they play and where they socialize. I just don't know if uh, Jesus ever went to Hurley's on Ladies' Night, but that's a whole other issue. I'm, I'm just wondering, Pastor, with the best of intentions, uh, are, are you really getting a little too intrusive and, and sort of big holy on people? Well, what we're doing is taking the shot glasses that have the uh, logo of our church on it and the symbol, give us a shot, along with an invitation card to the launch of our new Ballantine campus. And we're using that as a tool, as a vehicle to say to people that are in bars and restaurants, hey, you matter to us because you matter to God, and we would love to strike up a conversation with you and strike up a relationship with you and, and introduce you to the God who loves you and wants to be the forgiver and leader of your life. We're going where people are because that's exactly what Jesus did. But you're not equating where those people are to sinners in their, in their den. Oh, absolutely not. Here's the deal. We are targeting people that are disconnected, either from church or from God. They perceive themselves in some way to be disconnected from God. And we're saying to them, you shouldn't have to come to us. If we love you and we do, we should go to where you are. You matter to us, and that's the message that we want to communicate. Well, there's something you're doing, Pastor, that's, that's getting some popular uh, reaction here. I noticed that your membership has grown, what, a hundredfold in a little more than a couple of years. A lot of it has to do with the fact that during the service you allow coffee and donuts or something like that? What's the deal? Uh, we do. Our deal is uh, people should come as they are. Neil, we found out that the reason a lot of people are disconnected from church is they had bad childhood experiences in church. It was stuffy or judgmental or hypocritical. And, and we want to be a place where people can come as they are and be comfortable and hear about a God who meets them exactly where they are. We want to do that with everything that we do and be consistent throughout. All right. But I know Jesus dealt with the loaves and the fishes and all of that, Pastor. But how do you think he'd respond to people chomping down on jelly donuts and, and coffee while he's trying to get his message across today. Well, I believe that, again, Jesus is brilliant at meeting people exactly where they are. He doesn't expect us to change our lives before we come to him. He doesn't even expect us to change our habits. He will change us over time, okay. but he wants to meet us right where we are. Pastor, thank you very much. And so much. do we at Next Level. All right. Thank you, Neil. Thank you, sir. Two planes, just three seconds, or does